In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a compound spiral between two arcs. Uh, first thing you need to do is make sure you're on the Open Rules Modeling tab and go ahead and select your geometry ribbon. From here, you have your spirals and we're going to do a spiral between elements. Here's the options. I'm going to pre-select the starting and ending offsets to be zero because I want it to come off right off the elements. You also have the spiral ratio. The common radius that I'm going to start with is zero. You can change that. And all the other options you can change as you go. And here's where you will select a feature definition if you want to create a feature definition with the element. Following the prompts, you want to select the first element. There you see the starting offset. I'm going to data point or left click to accept zero. Now it's asking for the second element. I'm going to data point on the second element. And now I see my solutions. Here's one of the solutions. Here's another solution. And here's another solution. Uh, so it depends on the position of your cursor. It's which solution you're going to select or accept and I'm going to accept that uh, it's asking me for a transition length I'm going to accept that one and I'm not going to trim the elements so I'm going to accept none with another data point now I see that it created my compound spirals I can select them and if I want to see the info on them I can go to reports and here I will see my clotoid and all this information for the first spiral and then the second clotoid spiral and its information. Thank you very much.